In August 2014, the U.S. Navy announced that it had integrated the X-47B into carrier operations alongside manned aircraft and by May 2015 the aircraft's primary test program was declared complete. Northrop Grumman intends to develop the prototype X-47B into a battlefield-ready aircraft, the unmanned carrier launched Airborne Surveillance and Strike U -class, system, which will enter service in the 2020. Over the last few years, the Navy accomplished several significant firsts with the X-47B that showcased the Navy's commitment to unmanned carrier aviation. With the completion of this program, the service continues to develop its future unmanned carrier-based platform, known as U-Class. The X-47B first flew in 2011, and as of 2015, its two active demonstrators have undergone extensive flight and operational integration testing, having successfully performed a series of land and carrier-based demonstrations. The Navy's X-47B Unmanned Combat Air System demonstrator recently made its first flight at Naval Air Station Patuxent River, Maryland. So it is not just unmanned aviation and strike weapons, but a portfolio of the enabling capabilities that brings this new generation of technology and capabilities to our warfighters to fight the fight and win, and more importantly, be able to keep the peace. Incredible capability. Uh, we're excited about it. The fleet's excited to get it. And uh, it's really uh, entering a new generation for uh, naval aviation. The X-47B successfully conducted the first ever autonomous aerial refueling, AAR, of an unmanned aircraft April 22nd, completing the final test objective under the Navy's Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstration Program. While flying off the coast of Maryland and Virginia, the X-47B connected to an Omega K-707 tanker aircraft and received over 4,000 pounds of fuel using the Navy's probe and drogue method. This testing helped solidify the concept that future unmanned aircraft can perform standard missions like aerial refueling and operate seamlessly with manned aircraft as part of the carrier air wing.